Good to have you again. Good to be here. Turn it over to you. Thank you. Um, I want to start by saying that I really believe that free and fair elections are the cornerstone of our constitutional republic. And we have simple protections like voter ID, updated voter registration lists, which is a big one for me, that make perfect sense if we truly believe that every legal vote must count. And um, I think our right to vote has been preserved by the lives and blood and sacrifice of our patriots from the American Revolution up through um, the civil rights marches and throughout our history. And it's for that reason that I'm here today um, because I think we need to make sure those sacrifices were not in vain. For those reasons, I've been a poll manager for over 20 years. Elections must be held in a manner to ensure the highest confidence of those who are entitled to legally cast a vote. And this is something I believe we need to get our hands on immediately for the upcoming January election. In those years, um, those 20 years, I have never seen such a lack of organization and preparation. I'm a, poll man a dual poll manager in Fulton County. There was a total lack of chain of custody. Um, seals, serial numbers were missing. Poll pads were tagged correctly for my poll, but they were programmed for Adams Park Library, which is over 25 miles away. These, um, this is where we discovered the polls um, and the machines were connected to the internet. They were programmed just as easily and remotely as perhaps my Apple computer would be programmed um, from somebody someplace else if I have an issue. On, and then where I want to spend the majority of my time, however, is on Friday, November 13th, my area supervisor for Fulton County Elections sent an email requesting managers and assistant managers to help perform an audit at the Georgia World Congress Center. We had to commit to Saturday through Wednesday, 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. because of the multitude of work that had to be done. I reported early Saturday morning and watched a short training video on the procedures and processes. Um, after a logistical delay, we were finally seated. They didn't have enough tables for everybody. Um, I was table number 136, and there were two auditors at each table, and we were tasked with simply counting the votes that we were to be given um, from different polling locations and absentee ballots. Our first box was already ready for us. It was a corrugated cardboard box, and here again, the chain of custody was non-existent. It was taped with clear packing tape. It did have the secretary's seal kind of affixed to the top, not totally, but there were no signatures on it. And it was, you know, it didn't tell us who, who handled the box last. In our box, after it was opened and we broke the seal, we had 800 absentee style ballots in this box. These are the same type ballots that are used for provisional. That's why I'm saying style. It was to concentrate, and this is where I wanna concentrate the balance of my time, on a batch of pristine, stark, white ballots squeezed about two thirds of the way into the box. Every other batch had 100 of these AB style ballots and up to the this point, they showed normal use, normal wear and tear. I, don't, I shouldn't use the word tear, but normal little curling of the page. This particular batch had 110 ballots and was marked as State Farm Arena. That told us that's where that originated. These ballots were noticeably different in appearance, in feel. They had never been folded in any way in order to put an envelope put them into an envelope as either an absentee ballot or a provisional ballot would have been done. The same provisional ballots that we received though on election day um, are totally blank. These were scored so the voter could easily know how to fold the ballot, but none of them had been folded. You could run your hand over and, you know, barely see where it should be folded, but it wasn't, was, had never been folded at all. Um, ballots that come out of the envelope, 
once they come to your house, you pull them out and you can tell they've got like an accordion. Um, there are three places where they fold. There was an alarming peculiarity beside the appearance of the unique way that, <clears throat> and that was that they were copied. I'm not speaking of how ballots are sometimes duplicated if they will not go through a scanner or have perhaps come from overseas, which would not have affected these anyway. These came from State Farm Arena. So they were not overseas, they were not military ballots. Out of these, there were 106 obvious copies of the first ballot. On the first ballot for Joseph R. Biden, there was a slight little eclipse where it had not been bubbled in all the way. Every other candidate on there had um, similar traits to them, not as stark as that little white eclipse that was in there. <clears throat> These ballots, <clears throat> excuse me, um, were exact duplicates of the original one. All 106 of these ballots were for Joseph R. Biden, two were for Donald Trump, and one was for Joe Jorgensen. Um, the 106 were identical, I can't st stress that enough, including flaws and other peculiar marks on the paper. There was another issue about one of them. All of us have had been in a hurry and lifted the lid to the copy machine a little too fast, and we've seen the copy that is produced slightly askew, even though the paper is right. The photographic image just isn't quite right. On that one paper, we had one of this, these 106 where it was a, a tad bit askew. So out of these 110 ballots, um, it was just really stunning that so many were for Biden and even more egregious was so many copied from one origi original. When we left about 4.30, we were told that there were still many ballots to get through, but we would be done sometime later on Monday. The next morning, uh, we were back at the appointed time on Sunday. Far fewer people were in the Georgia World Congress Center. Most of the other people had been uh, Fulton County employees, and they were not there on this particular Sunday. So even though we arrived first, before the appointed time, before seven o'clock in the morning, and other people arrived after us, we did not receive our ballot box until others received theirs. Now, the box we received on Sunday morning was of the typical kind that we have in our poll, ballot box polls in Fulton County. They're a fabric style, um, roughly a cube with zippers, um, a pull handle and wheels um, that is sealed before we take them in to the service center. So the next morning as we're waiting for ours, the gals behind us got over 3,000 ballots, the gals in front of us got over 6,000 ballots, that was we finally got our box. I peered inside expecting to see an enormous amount. We had 60. They were from the Quality Living Center in South Atlanta. Um, now, as I mentioned, this box was the type that um, we have seen before in the State Farm, but it was not the, the hard type that we saw with ballots in it being pulled from under the table. Um, those are typically our supply boxes. Our box was the type that was standard issue used in, in precincts. So when I opened this box of 60 ballots, they were of the BMD, the ballot marking device, um, the Dominion machines from the Quality Living Center. And they had 58 for Biden and two for Trump. I have long been concerned um, even from personal experience about the number of people in facilities for recovery, rehab, group homes for seniors, and far too often ballots are requested for these people without their knowledge or without the help of any family member. Um, these seemed a tad bit suspicious to us. 
we have a duty to ensure that all our eligible Americans are able to vote their own ballot that, and that votes are not stolen or diluted by fraud or even administrative errors. You have any questions? I, I do see Representative Turner. Um, did you have a question? I do. Hi, Susie. Hi, Scott. How are you? I'm well, thanks. I hope you are too. Thank you for being here. Uh, uh, we've known each other for a long time, so I, I, uh, I'm glad to see you here uh, today. I, my question is, when you saw and you, your suspicions became aroused, how did you react? Were you reporting that to anybody? Are you talking about my... When you saw the pristine ballots that oh, appeared those? to be photocopied, did, did you report that or did you... How did you handle that? Well, initially I said that I had a very odd sense of ballots, um, but there really was no avenue at um, the Georgia World Congress Center, anybody in Fulton County to actually take those. We would hold up our little card that said we have a question, but they, they did not seem to be as alarmed over some of the things that we were alarmed with. So um, I allowed uh, my concerns to be taken care of through an affidavit. So uh, the next step would be at any point in time, have you, uh, is it, have you been in contact with anybody at Secretary of State's office or any other law enforcement type of folks to let them know what you saw? Um, yes and yes. Um, I did let the Secretary of State's office know um, and I have not heard back from them. I even called them the morning of the election, I was so concerned about the lack of chain of um, custody, to have no seals on machines, to have no machines locked. Anybody could have tampered with those machines at any time. And then when we discovered they could be used um, and, rep and things could be changed via the internet, that was even more disturbing that things were not that secure. So nobody from the Secretary of State's office responded to your complaint? No. Thank you, ma'am. Um, Can I elaborate one more time on that, Scott? Uh, Chairman? Y yes, Mrs. Boyles, we do have one other question, and I, I know we're a little long, but but please, I think this is important. Representative Taylor, you can just ask your question after Ms. Boyles finishes. It, it's short. I just want to say I'm very well aware um, that both the secretary and Gabe Sterling are aware of my affidavit and neither of them have contacted me and I know them personally to say, hey, we want to hear about your concerns. Representative Taylor. 